Hey guys, this is Brenda from my baby Ravens Cradle. I was going to pause and wait and do this video later because my arm broke out in a rush. Um, I don't know how much you can see of that on camera. It's very itchy. I'm trying not to scratch it. My hands are dry because <laughs> washing our hands all the time. I was actually trying to look for this belly plate. Um, I have a whole drawer of these um, belly plates and I either um, put their name on here or you know how Ziploc has. Um... Oh, that's when I used to sell Epic Yarn. <laughs> like, um... So I want to try out these on Felicity and Felicity is right here. She is my Laura Lee Eagle Sculpt, um, re reborn by Kelly, Kelly's Vegan Nursery. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. She is so sweet. Frances actually picked her out. So her name is Felicity Beige after Frances and I. Frances and Brenda. <clears throat> so... I love her hair. And she is currently wearing a happy mail I received from Ashley. <laughs> but <clears throat> I really would like to put her in this with the belly plate. And I'm not sure, you guys, what would look better with that. I have a <clears throat> just a plain shirt like that by a match or excuse my breath guys <clears throat> I think um yeah I try it's just getting really puffy and don't worry I do take antihistamines so this will go away um like in about half an hour so <clears throat> and I feel a little out of breath, but not too bad. So, or there's this one. This is little sister. Or, no, oh, it has a fluff on it. There's a light pink one. The little princess. Which looks really sweet, because the bow matches. Or, I also have... This one that could like open and show her belly more. I don't know. I was thinking this one initially. <clears throat> and I'm also here to do Country Cottage's tag. Hi, Julie. I love her tags. They're so much fun. She has 10 questions. I will definitely link. I don't know which way it is. <laughs> I think it's this way. I will link her video below. She has two parts. So I will link the first part. Or, yeah, the first part. So, yeah, I think, although, I think I'll try that sweater first on her with these. And I really want to put this cute little diaper with it, too. And I brought her belly plate. It is atomic, atomically correct. So don't mind what you see. <clears throat> it's been a while since it's been the drawer for so long. So it's, I guess. But I'm going to work with it the best I can. And try. Um, some artists. I have a couple of belly plates that have put holes in here in a string. So, <clears throat> oh, and the tag <laughs> number one. <clears throat> Wait, I'm trying not to cough. <clears throat> My mom was having like. But it's just normal me. It's not. <laughs> don't worry about me catching a virus or anything. It's, oh, that's why. Okay. Don't, don't really want to record it. 
even though it's gonna get wrecked. But uh, it feels so awkward right now. <laughs> Try not to be. <clears throat> Okay, so this is also some, see these are Pampers. These are the only Pampers that I own. They have the Sesame Street characters on them. I like these ones. So yeah, she has a wafer. So I'll just throw this. I have a ton of disposable diapers, so it's okay if I go through them. In fact, I should start using them more often. Oh, I love the sound of these. So much fun. Okay, so number one to the tag while I'm doing this. Oh, what is your favorite cookie? Now, what Julie said on her channel is also my favorite, I'm pretty sure. She's right in Canada. There there is different names for them. My family called them haystacks. And they're just like, um, or a chocolate macaroon. And there's one more name, drop cookies. No name, or no bake drop cookies. And they're just, the main ingredient is chocolate and coconut. <clears throat> I hope this... Well, this seems like it needs to be bent more. But my favorite is the same as hers. Um, but we call them haystacks. Haystack cookies. Because they're no bake. And you just plunk them onto a cookie sheet. And they kind of look like, not the new hay bales. But like years and years and years ago. Like the plunk of haystacks. <clears throat> That's my favorite too. So, this should be down more. Let's see. see, even this is bent. Um, number two is what's your favorite ocean creature? Mine is mythical, but it's definitely the mermaid. And yes, it's mythical. If I had to pick a real one, maybe the, the, what are they called? The seahorse? Yeah. The seahorse. See, I'm just trying to make this fit so it'll stay on nice and tight. On number three, would you change your first name and what would you choose? When I was a kid, of course, I don't think anyone liked their name. <laughs> but I like it now because there's not too many Brendas in the world. So, no, I wouldn't change it. I would change my last name. <laughs> um, my maiden name, I loved my maiden name. But cause it's very unusual and everyone pronounced it wrong. It looks French, but it sounds English. But my my name my legal name now is my married name. My ex married name. But the reason why I kept it is because of the kids. We share the kids. <clears throat> and my mom did the same when she divorced my dad. <clears throat> like, not my real mom. I mean, my stepmom. Even though, she, to me, she's not my stepmom. She's my real mom. But anyways, she kept her married name, too, for the sake of the kids. Because we also were shared. I feel like I'm out of breath. I don't mean to be out of breath. I'm not, I'm not overly sick. Well, obviously, <laughs> My arm will get better. Hopefully by the end of this video. I'm looking bruised there. I bruise easily. I'm so dry. But Felicity looks cute. I wish it was brighter so you could see her. Let's see. Oh. 
have no idea where to put it. Um, I would change my last name. I would love to change my last name to... Oh. There. Look, I could wear it like that. Oh. Now these booties, let's see on camera. <laughs> um, number four, if you were to collect a second type of doll, what type of doll would that be? Well, like uh, she's talking about other than the reborns and the silicones. Okay, I'm going to loosen this up just a little bit. Um, I would love to collect a masterpiece doll. Definitely. I can't wait to one day have a masterpiece child doll. I mean, I have Carly, but I would love the masterpiece ones too. They're so cute and pretty. And I can have them standing and pose. She's so cute with those. Okay. My cards, my index cards. Oh, I have a little note here. She is having a giveaway on her channel right now. So, yes, <clears throat> definitely check out her channel. And she is having a giveaway. Please search through her videos. It's very recent. And, um,. Sign up for her giveaway. She's giving away an authentic 80s cabbage patch. <clears throat> so, that's cool. So, number five. If you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? <clears throat> pizza. <laughs> Everyone who knows me, I love my homemade pizza. So, pizza. For whatever reason, if you could only have one doll in your collection, who would it be? <laughs> and then she, Julie started going on saying, I know it would be hard for a lot of you. And yes, my collection is very large. And I do love a lot of them. But I think I would definitely pick my Megan. My Megan Hope. And she is a partial silicone, and she is Eric's identical, like severe identical. Oh, she looks so sweet in this, don't you think? Sorry, that sounded so fake. Don't you think? <laughs> but, oh, she is so sweet. Let's see if I can okay, give this beautiful... Little bit out of the way, you know, I'll fix it so I can fold it, put it back carefully. The other outfits, oh, she is so sweet. Um, then you can't see her hair that well. <clears throat> if I get oh, she's so sweet. Okay, there she looked. Oh, look at me, it's so cute. Yeah, it would be my Megan Hope, and uh, she is uh, one of my partial silicones, and I love her so, so, so much. I have videos of her. I'll put a link to a few of her videos. I really love her so much. Um, <clears throat> for whatever reason, number six. Oh, wait. That was number six. Sorry. <laughs> Number seven, what is your favorite color? Well, 
and she also said that she she did a tag a few months ago or a few weeks ago i can't remember but she asked that color was your favorite color and mine is that light pink and then i said as a secondary color it's a light blue and then i also said um i love all easter colors so all of these colors i really love <clears throat> but if i <clears throat> But if I would choose a second favorite color after those colors, I would probably choose mm -mm. <laughs> that one's hard because I, I love all these light pastel colors. So pick them all. Red, pinks first, then blue, and then probably that green. So do you have an unusual family name? Like in your family, I named one of my dolls after one of my relatives and my ancestors. Her name was Arinda. I think that's a very unusual name. And I also found in my ancest ancestry uh, name of people, um, a guy named Almond. So yeah, if I ever have the chance to find a doll that could like be an almond like maybe as a second name a middle name i would i would choose almond so yeah arinda and almond those are definitely unique number nine what's your favorite spot on earth so far but she said like at the moment and mine at the moment is our land off the grid land Um, all it is is a road going into the bush and that's it everything else is tons of trees there's a lake in the back there's tiny trails uh, probably there's a couple of quad trails but also trails from animals <clears throat> but that is definitely my favorite spot Whew. I have videos of that too I can link um and the last one i'm sorry for rambling but the last one if you had to sum yourself up in one word what would it be and that one's kind of difficult um a few years ago we had a um team um i don't know how to say it Okay, our staff had a professional development day, and it was about team building and positive team building. And one of the assignments was was to um, uh, write about your coworkers on a piece of paper and be honest, but something nice. So <clears throat> I kept mine all these years, and this is what. I other people think of me we had this is my writing we, well okay that's my last name my legal last name but <clears throat> these are what people said about me very caring worthy advice really great with children friendly smile <laughs> grateful very sweet like candy oh, has a beautiful smile loves children kind nice beautiful fun flowers cute friendly that was <laughs> That was my principal boss at the time. <laughs> I recognize this really <laughs> quiet, sincere, nice smile, loud. I was surprised at that. That must be a very close friend. <laughs> Sweet, fun, awesome lady. Um this <clears throat> this she meant um I think she meant gentle. Gentle but talkative when visiting her. <laughs> I think I know who wrote that. Oh, it smells nice. Okay. And a very nice, nice smile. Nice and friendly. So, very caring and kind. So, I think... Oh, friend. <laughs> I th I'm only... I guess I could be fun when I'm not shy and quiet. And you get to know me. And yeah, I guess I could be fun. Oh, this is so beautiful. Aw. Beautiful. Aw. <laughs> Anyways, I think friendly and nice. Well, nice. Actually, people say I'm too nice. But 
Anyways, here is Felicity in her deck. Although, you can't really see the, the print. But that's okay. We all know it's her. Oh, she's so sweet. So, so sweet. Oh my goodness. Oh, Felicity Beige. She is well mind you. Doesn't she look more realistic with this plate on? I think she does. Oh. So yes guys, thank you so much for watching. I need to. <clears throat> I think just a lot of normal colds are going around too. So it's not just coronavirus, but <clears throat> Anyways, guys, hope that you're having a great day. Thank you so much for watching. I love it. Until next time, guys. Very soon, I guess. Look at my arm. See, it's getting better. <clears throat> Bye, guys. Love you. Bye. <laughs> Bye, guys.